Today we will see the philosophy and education. The, the philosophy is the Greek word. Philosophy is the term which is derived from a Greek word philo and sophia. Philo means love of and sophia means wisdom. So philosophy means love of wisdom. Dictionary meaning of philosophy is theoretical or logical analysis of the principles underlying the conduct, thought, knowledge and nature of the universe. In simple terms, it is a set of ideas or beliefs relating to a particular field or activity. The Brightmans who define philosophy as an attempt to think truly about human experience or to make out world experience intelligible. Henderson defined philosophy as philosophy is a search of comprehensive view of nature and attempt at a universal explanation of nature of things. Raymond's who define philosophy as philosophy is an unceasing effort to discern and general truth that lies behind the particular facts, discern also the reality that lies behind the appearance. So philosophy and education are the two sides of the coin. Education is the dynamic side of philosophy. Philosophy sets goals of life while education provides the means for achieving these goals. Philosophy which determine all broad aspect of education like aims, curriculum objectives, teaching methods, school discipline and teacher's role. Philosophy and education. Philosophy is a science of knowledge and knowledge is the antidote to ignorance. Education is a purposeful activity and bring behavior changes to bring behavior we have formulated objectives. Education without philosophy is blind and philosophy without education is meaningless. Thus, philosophy and education are interrelated. Branches of philosophy, epistemology, also known as theory of knowledge, concerned with nature and scope of knowledge. Logic, science of formal principles of reasoning, concerned with systematic study of knowledge and interrelationship. Metaphysics, study concerned with trying to understand the display fundamental nature of reality. Ethics deals with theory of morality, moral rules or principles of behavior for deciding what is right or wrong. Axiology is the study of quality or value, the study of the nature, especially the ethics. Philosophy and aims of education, philosophy and curriculum, philosophy and methods of teaching, philosophy and teacher, philosophy and discipline. The first philosophy is idealism. This is one of the oldest philosophy. Plato is the father of idealism. Other proponents are Rabindranath Tagore and Gandhiji. According to an idealist, spiritual nature is the essence of life and physical world is visible evidence for the presence of greater spirit invisible for us. Importance to mind and self rather than the body. Belief purpose of life is to know the ultimate truth. Man is a supreme creation of the God. Highlights the need for moral cultural values in human life. They believe in the universal mind or God. In regard man as a spiritual being, main aim of the life is to achieve the spiritual values, truth, beauty and goodness. Satyam, Shivam, Sundaram. God is the source of all knowledge and real knowledge is perceived in mind. The world of ideas and values are more important than the world of matter. Man can express himself in language and communicate through various forms of arts and culture. Man can change and manipulate the physical environment and shape it according to his needs. Reality is spiritual. It exists in ideas, purpose, intelligible value and internal truth. Principles of idealism, principles of universal mind, regard man as a spiritual being. The world of ideas and values are superior than materialistic world. Real knowledge is perceived in the mind. The education implications. Idealism and aims of education include self-realization or development of the self-image is facilitated by attaining full knowledge about self. Human being is wonderful creation of God and human life is greatest work of God. Exaltation of personality through self-realization. Education is for exaltation of the personality and it aims to build a healthy personality which is very adjusting to our immediate surroundings. Universal education. Human race is one and every individual in the society need to be educated irrespective of caste, creed, color and social status. Development of inventive and creative powers. Idealism encourages man to change or modify the environment according to his needs and mold nature to suit his purpose through the inventure and creative skill. Conservation, promotion and transmission of cultural heritage. 
bringing out or enrichment of cultural environment development of moral sense it will help the child to lead a healthy life and to differentiate between right and wrong good and evil idealism and curriculum the overall development of the child is aim of the idealism to achieve the subject which assists the child to develop morally morally aesthetically intellectually physically should include in the curriculum this like poetry finance religion moral and aesthetic development language science maths and geography for intellectual development physical education for physical development cultivation of spiritual values idealism believes that man is essentially a spiritual being and give prime importance for cultivating spiritual value through education idealism and method of teaching kindergarten method is regarded as a school as a garden teacher as a gardener and student as a tender plants needed to grow to beauty and perfection questioning discussing discussion lecture method project and imitation idealism and limit discipline self realization is the prime aim of education and recommend strict discipline for the attainment of self realization idealism against free discipline teachers has to impose strict discipline idealism and teacher high place for a teacher as a philosopher friend and guide teacher person, person face reality for people best teacher is one who always inspires the students and serve as a role model for them weakness of idealism in education includes scientific research that does not st- support idealistic view of spiritual knowledge overall information a polite restrained manner may be mistaken for snobbery emphasis on good manners polite behavior modesty the social order today discourages imitation of ideas ideals behaviors and standards that govern the lives of people or older generation second philosophy is naturalism Rosé and Aristotle proponents of naturalism is concerned with nature, natural self and believes that reality and nature are identical and beyond nature there is no reality everything is nature and nothing superior than nature principles of naturalism include child centered education prime importance to the child than the teachers and others it is a major contribution of naturalism to education education is a natural development of child's power and capacities negative education in early childhood education should be based on child psychology role of teacher is that of a guide education implication of naturalism include consider child as a gift of nature with potentialities for natural growth according to the laws of nature aim of education is to develop the child healthy and active personality in the natural setting child learn with interacting with nature morality and character are learned indirectly with the help of natural consequence of behavior naturalism and aim of education self expression Ch- children should provide with an opportunity to express their ideas and talents self preservation is an unavoidable aspect of life and education should enable the child to develop these qualities redirection of human instincts each child born with certain instincts which are guiding force behind all human conduct struggle for existence individual child may have to face several painful and stress laden situation in the present world education according to the nature perfect development of individuality naturalism and curriculum no need for a rigid curriculum and consider nature as a grand book from which the children can learn everything and become an individual subjects like physics chemistry botany zoology geography history and maths should taught to students especially important to the experience naturalism and method of teaching learning by doing play by method good learning is a result of spontaneous effort and free interest rather than compulsion and forced application observation and experimentation self education and self effort classical contribution of naturalism and recommends different kind of assignments and activities for attaining all round development through self education and self effort naturalism and discipline it favors total freedom and oppose punishment or external discipline rosse believed that child should be allowed to face natural consequence of his actions and this exposure to consequence will naturally result in development of self discipline naturalism and teacher teachers roll behind the scene instead of passive transfer of knowledge teachers should arrange the for environment necessary for the personal development of child and guide or direct the child as when needed adopting the role of a director or facilitator weakness of naturalism include simplicity of naturalistic educational practice may not be possible in urban area 
higher order of discipline may not be possible as teachers and textbooks are not playing a crucial role and lesser place of learning through experience take place lacks ideals no place for spiritual values no constructs suggestions to offer regarding a goal of educative effort thus it does not point to a higher end in the educational process pragmatism midway between naturalism and idealism derived from the greek word pragmatism which means practice or action emphasis given into learning by experience it also called experimentalism originated in the greece modern pragmatism originated in america William James is the father of pragmatism. John Dewey, Rose, Charles Saunders are the proponents. Principles of pragmatism: Man considered as essentially a biological and social organism. Knowledge should be experimentally verified and should be useful to the learner. Faith in man's capacity to shape his destiny. No absolute values. Only those theories which can work in practical situations are true. Deep faith in democracy. Pragmatist is more concerned with the present and immediate future. Pragmatism accepts only knowledge which is empirical. Only those ideas which can be realized in the life are real. Individual development also leads to development of society. Education implications of pragmatism. Pragmatic trend also known as progressivism in education and school based on a pragmatic ideas are known as progressive school. Consider the learner as a growing biological and social being ready to adjust with the environmental demands. Aim is to prepare the child to face challenges of life. Education prepares child to become effective member of the society. Pragmatism and aim of education. Harmonious development of individual. Harmonious development includes physical, emotional, intellectual, social and spiritual aesthetic development. And this will prepare the child to face challenges of the life, to face problems and to solve them. Continuous experience, continuous and varied experiments to children in graded way for enhancing the competency. Social efficiency, appropriate education helps the child to lead a productive life in democratic society. Pragmatism and curriculum, principle of utility, subjects like language, physical training, science, history, geography, agriculture and home science for girls should be included in the curriculum. It also recommends vocational and technical education. Principle of interest based on child, interest, aptitude and need of the child. Principle of experience, focus on child's activity, vocation and experience, co-curricular activity also integral part of the curriculum. Principles of integration, integration of various subjects and experience, whatever taught in the previous class may have to be integrated with the new, <coughs> new classes so that the child can sustain his development. Pragmatism and method of teaching give importance to the child than book, teacher and subject matter. No fixing or single method of teaching suitable for the entire students provide practical work, lecture, discussion, role playing, demonstration, return demonstration, experiment method and activity or in the teaching. Principles of progressive learning, principle of learning by doing, principle of integration. Pragmatism and discipline does not believe in rigid discipline, believe in social discipline and this helps the students to get experience from society, school and home. Purposeful cooperative activities may help the child to develop natural nature interest, initiative, self-reliance, tolerance and consideration of others. Pragmatism and teacher consider teacher as a friend, philosopher and guide to the child, children. Ability to maintain a close relationship with the children for understanding their interest and awareness regarding the social condition are two main qualities of the teacher. Strength of pragmatism are students will learn the skills and meet his needs, prepare himself to live in the society. Students will try to meet the immediate felt needs. The child learns the activities by doing. Both teacher and students should explore adventure of seeking knowledge. Pragmatic approach is based on recognition of technological interest like in industrialized felt needs. Applicable in American setting. Weakness in pragmatism. It does not give rise to the questions of ultimate reality behind the setting. Artificiality in situations, problem solving activity may be pleasurable and challenging for the people but have little or no relationship with the problems that occur in real life. The teacher may be unable to cope up the demands of the teaching. Humanities, culture, acts have no place. The teacher will act as information officer only. Many gaps and deficiencies in the learning approach. Denial of spiritual cultural values are unpalatable, less practiced in Indian settings. Realism. 
Aristotle later modified by Jamor, Russell and John Wilde. According to this philosophy, things we see and perceive are real knowledge and knowledge acquired through sense only true. This is a doctrine against spiritualism and opposed to idealism. Principles of realism include worldly realities of everyday are true. It does not believe in the existence of absolute truth. It accepts only sensory experiences. Man like physical being controlled by rules and laws. Real knowledge is acquired by analyzing and experiencing sensations. Outcome of scientific development. It provides education which is useful for the life where man can enjoy his activities and comforts his reality. Education implication of realism include Concerns child as a dynamic and growing entity ready to face the realities of life. Laws of nature control the child. Aim of education is to prepare the child to face the realities of life and solve the problems. Knowledge achieved in the school should be appropriate to achieve this. Importance must be given to the observation, experimentation and activities. Realism and aim of education. Prepare the child for real life. Prepare the child for a happy and successful life. Fosters mental and physical powers of a child, developing and training senses, providing occasional education, make the child familiar with nature and social environment to develop memory of the child. Realism and curriculum include prefer subjects and activities which can prepare the child for day-to-day -day living. Science and vocational subjects and arts and literature and language. Realism and method of teaching. Oppose bookish knowledge as it is failed to prepare the child to face future. Objective method of teaching like observation, experimentation and activities. Realism and discipline. They believe in self-discipline, advocate moral and religious educations for the development of self-discipline among the children. Realism and teacher. Honorable position to serve for the teacher. Teacher well versed in content and aware about the needs of the children. Interested research in transferring knowledge in a clear and intelligible way by employing psychological and scientific principles. Eclectic. Eclecticism, harmonious combination of all the philosophies. Need for eclecticism are education is driven by societal changes. Education also depends upon philosophy. Need for eclectic idea are no philosophy is complete in itself. Taught to find a unity and diversity through eclectic, eclectic approach to meet the changing needs and demands in the world of cult, cultivate a change in behavior. Indian philosophers always recognize the value of adjustment in the midst of conflicting ideologies. There is a diversity of thinking in all aspects of human culture and civilization. Uniform tendency or holistic approach is needed for the Indian culture and its civilization. Abilities and talents of youth are properly channelized and utilized. To promote good citizenship, equality and opportunity, universality in education, effect tenants is essential. Importance of self-education, highlight responsibility of government in providing education, especially in the primary level and handicapped children. Emphasis on adult and social education, harmonious relationship among school and society. Features of eclecticism, aim of education is to prepare good citizen, recommends broad and flexible curriculum. Emphasis coordination of various subjects, importance of co-curricular activities, ensuring subject expert and better teachers. So this scientific teaching methods based on the principle of learning by doing. Consider education as a tool for social control. Recommends professional status for a teaching job. Areas of agreement or eclectic tendency at work in education. Idealism stresses spirituality and absolute values. Naturalism emphasis in matter in man. Pragmatism is regarded as sort of compromise between these two. Aim of education. Education gives the child command of the basic process of learning. The child should become an efficient member of the society. Development of moral character, promotion of good health, skillful training to prepare the person to take his place in life, to be able to think, reason, adapt himself to the environment. Interest and motivation of the child has to be improved. The child should be educated in favorable con congenial environment. Philosophy and nursing education. Philosophy of nursing education is a written statement of beliefs, values, attitudes and ideas which for faculty as a group agreed upon in relation to the nursing educational programs such as health, disease, nursing, nurse, nursing as a profession, education, learner, patient, nursing education and preparation of the nurses. Combination of both philosophy of nursing and philosophy of education, more precisely philosophy of nursing education is application of the fundamental belief of nursing in the field of nursing education. In 
In 1871, the first school of nursing was started in government of General Hospital Madras with a six-month diploma midwives program for four students. Female, the four female superintendents and four trained nurses from England were posted to Madras. Between 1890 and 1900, many schools under either mission or government were started in various parts of India. In the 20th century, national nursing associations were started. 1918 training schools were started for health visitors and diets at health at delhi and karachi two english nurses jerfin and graham were appointed to give training to and to supervise the nurses 1926 madras state formed and the first registration councils to provide basic standard for education and training the first four-year bachelor's degree program was started in 1946 at the college of nursing delhi and Bello. Nursing Council Act came to existence in 1948 to constitute a council of nurses who would be safeguard the quality of nursing education in the country. The mandate was to establish the maintain uniform standards of nursing education. Today, Indian Nursing Council is a statutory body that regulates nursing education in the country through prescription, inspection, examination, certification, maintaining standards. It stands for a uniform syllabus at each level of nursing education. There are seven levels of nursing education there today. Auxiliary nursing, midwifery, A&M or multi-purpose health worker, female, general nursing and midwifery, basic bachelor of nursing, post-basic bachelor of nursing, master's in degree, master's in philosophy nursing, doctorate in philosophy nursing. A&M training was for two years and mainly covered maternal and child care and family welfare. The nursing council revised the A&M syllabus in 1977 and it reduced duration to 18 months. The focus of training is to community health nursing. The employment opportunities are that you can work as a multi-purpose health worker. The minimum qualification of teaching is BSc nursing. To provide clinical experience, fundamentals of nursing, medical, surgical nursing, and maternal and child health nursing institutions should have general hospital with minimum 160 bed covering all general condition. Perform basic healthcare activities in community and institutional setting, plan and carry out nutrition health education activities in the home, clinic, and community. Provide immunization service, family health care, and family planning services. Participate in prevention and control of communicable disease. Promote environmental sanitation. In 1918, Diploma in Nursing Claudia has been started in Lady School of Nursing. International Council of Nurses believes that basic nursing. Basic in nursing should prepare nurses to the first level positions in nursing both in hospital and community. It gives importance for the restoring and maintaining health and preventing disease and also helps to develop deep pride in the nursing profession among the students to enable further professional growth. General nursing midwifery course conducted in 477 centers in the country. The syllabus undergone many revisions according to the change in the health plans and policies of the government and changing trends and advancement in general education, nursing health science and medical technology. Latest revision of syllabus INS 2004 has been increased duration of course from 3 years to 3 and a half year. Basic entrants become intermediate or 10 or 12 instead of earlier the class 10. Basic both science and art students can eligible. The focus of general nursing education is to care for the sick in the hospital. Schools of nursing are generally attached to a teaching hospital. Three board examinations are conducted, one at the end of each year. On passing the candidate registered as a registered nurse and midwife by the respective state nursing council. Age of entrance shall be 17 years to 35 years provided they meet minimum educational requirements. Minimum, minimum education for all students should pass 12 class or equivalent preferably with science subject. Admission student shall be once in a year. Medically fit selection committee should comprise tutors, nurse administrators, educationists and psychologists. Principal of the school shall be the chairperson. Graduating nursing started in the year 1946 in CMC and RIK College of Nursing, Delhi University. At present, 1,373 colleges have been recognized by INC to conduct course under several universities. In Kerala, there are 122 nursing colleges. A candidate seeking admission should have passed 12 Two year pre university exam required as recognized by concerned university with the science subjects and that, that is physics, biology, and chemistry. Students have vocational courses, obtain at least 45% of total marks in science subject in their qualifying exam. Belongs to a scheduled caste or tribe, should have obtained not less than 40% of total marks in science subject. Completed 17 years of age at the time of admission or complete the age on or before 31st December on the year of admission. Is medically fit.
to provide balanced professional education general education enable student to become a professional nurse practitioner who has self direction and is a res responsible citizen through plan guided experience students are provided with the opportunity to develop a broad concept of fundamental principles of nursing care based on sound knowledge and satisfactory levels of skill in providing care to people of all ages in community or institutional setting the first two year of course miss masters co nursing start rk college of nursing 1959 69 cmc value at present for 401 colleges imparting msc nursing degree course in different specialties in 1980 rk college started as the mphil program as a regular and part time course since there are several universities started taking students for mphil course in nursing prominent nurse among these are MGR Medical University, Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Science, Sunit University and Delhi University. Doctorate of Philosophy in Nursing, earlier Indian Nurses were sent abroad for PhD program. PhD program in Nursing was first started in 1992. Universities where PhD programs are conducted in India include PhD, PhD Consortium by Indian Nursing Council, Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Science and WHO, RK College of Nursing and Nimhans Bangalore. Thank you. Thank you for listening. If you have any comment, please let me know.